we present a real-time performance-driven facial animation system based on 3D shape regression. Our system only needs an ordinary web camera and can accurately estimate the 3D positions of a set of facial landmarks. From these 3D landmarks, we can compute the rigid transformation of the head and the non-rigid facial expressions, which can then be transferred to a digital avatar to drive its facial animation. As you can see, our system can well handle non-frontal faces, fast motions, and exaggerated expressions. These facial motions can of course be transferred to other avatars. Our system may generate incorrect shapes under larger occlusions. Even in this situation, once the occluder moves away, we can recover the shape correctly. The system can also handle lighting changes to a certain extent. Here we use a lamp to change the lighting. It can be seen that the system works very well. Now we briefly describe our system pipeline. In a one-time pre-processing step, we ask the user to act out a set of standard facial expressions and capture the images. For each captured image, a set of 2D landmark points corresponding to certain face features are semi-automatically located. Given these labeled images and with the help of a 3D facial expression database, we compute a 3D expression blend shape model for the user and construct the training data of facial images and 3D shapes. From these images and shapes, we train a user-specific regressor that maps 2D image appearance to 3D shape. At runtime, this 3D shape regressor is used in calculating the 3D positions of facial landmarks from a 2D video stream. The head's rigid transformation and facial expression parameters are calculated from the 3D landmark positions. They are then transferred to a digital avatar to generate the corresponding animation. Here we compare the feature tracking results from a 2D regression approach, an optical flow-based approach, in our 3D regression algorithm. Our algorithm achieves much better results. For the 2D regression approach, if the face is oriented away from the front, the computed shapes may deviate significantly from the ground truth. And for the optical flow-based approach, it may accumulate errors temporally and produce drifting artifacts. To further evaluate the accuracy of our 3D regression algorithm, we compare our results to ground truth depth maps acquired from a Kinect depth camera. Using only the RGB data, our algorithm can generate 3D shapes that match the ground truth depth maps very well. Now we show more results under different lighting environments. This is in an office. This is an outdoor environment with direct sunlight. In this example, the web camera is moving with the user, so the background is changing constantly. Our algorithm can still generate satisfactory results. Thank you.